Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to start the week off by talking about products that I regret purchasing. I have a ton of them here. They are random, makeup, body, hair, just a bunch of random things that I continue to put in a pile because I try so many products out that once I determine I don't like something, it kind of goes in this special little bin. And when it starts piling up, I do this video. And I've already tried so much stuff this year alone and like end of last year that we're just doing this. We're not waiting, we're just going for it. We're gonna start with Cargo. My heart is kind of broken because the Vintage Escapes palette was like this magical, amazing palette that I loved so much that I used over and over and over and over. I traveled with it. I just, I used that palette to death. And ever since then, whenever Cargo comes out with a new palette, I try it out hoping that the shadow quality will be exactly the same. I think something changed because these are not as smooth. They are a little more stiff. They don't blend as evenly and they're just harder to work with. This is the Shanghai Nights palette and these colors are gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, but they just aren't anything that you need like they're not super spectacular with the texture or wear time or blendability so i would just pass on this i did a bunch of different looks and i was hoping that i would be able to come up with something like something at least one like major ooh ah wow look but every time i used this palette i was just having like a really off makeup day and i'd be like it just looks too heavy it looks like too many layers it just doesn't look Here. right. We all know I went on a big binge buying like every contour highlight, cream contour, powder contour, highlight kit because they came out with a bunch of them and I did a full on how to contour and highlight video. I will link that below and I also put this in a haul and this is from Laura Mercier. It's a really beautifully done kit as far as the presentation, the mirror, the step-by-step -step directions in here. I love Laura Mercier. She has some incredible skin products, you know, the tinted moisture, any of her foundations, powders. I'm wearing the powder right now. I love the brand, but this palette, the only thing that I liked in it was the contour one and I will keep it. I will continue to use this, but I can't recommend this as a go out and purchase it. Awesome contour and highlight palette because the rest of these shades just exaggerate your pores and they kind of, it kind of just sits on top of the skin a little bit funny and you can't get it to look completely natural. But the highlight one and highlight two are just so off that I would not, I would not repurchase this. Just saying. Okay. Um, here's another fancy product. I never talked about this on my channel. I was over at the Chantecai counter and I just, I kind of got suckered in. The lady behind the counter was just so good at selling me and I've sold makeup before so I should know all the tricks but I don't. Like I'm the easiest person to sell to. She was telling me all about this corrector pen and how it is so lightweight and you won't even detect it on the skin and it will be just beautiful under your eyes. And it's one of those things that because I spent a lot of money on this, I keep trying it and I keep going, is it working? Is it working? And if you have to look in the mirror and go, is this working? It's probably not the best item out there. I have makeup items that whenever I put them on, I literally look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, like, oh my God, that's amazing. Like I look like a different person in a good way, like a better version of me, which is what you want from your makeup. You don't want to question it. So I've just decided this year, especially with my makeup collection, because I don't want to be so overloaded with everything that if I have a hesitancy like three times in a row, it's done, it's over, we've broken up. I have a few Makeup Academy items that I just really don't like. I love their lipsticks. I love the way they smell. They smell so good. They're creamy. They do not settle in the lines of the lip. They're beautiful. But these two right here, which are supposed to be like super shimmery, kind of balmy, I guess kind of like your um, any colored lip butters, that type of a deal, that's the texture. But they feel a little bit gritty and a little bit metallic-y, which I'm not into. So if you don't like metallic, these are not for you. I have the shade Mauve and I have the shade Coral and unfortunately, I'm just, I'm not a fan. Also, I was surprised that this gloss right here, which is in the shade Baby Pink, just sat on the lips really funny. You would think that this would be really beautiful and more on the opaque side, but it's not, and it is super, super pepperminty. It doesn't really plump the lips, but it just feels 
kind of a chemically pepperminty scent. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of this one. But their lipsticks, like all of their lipsticks just in the black tube, awesome. This guy made me break out, like crazy person. Uh, I don't not like this. Uh, this is from Revlon. This is the Photo Ready Prime plus anti-shine. I gave this a good go. I was like, come on, drugstore, primers, like let's, let's make it happen. And this just did not happen. It made me break out. It clogged my pores and it's not so smooth where it just like diffuses everything. It kind of is a little bit clumpy, which you really don't want a primer that is going to make your foundation go on clumpy. That's not a good thing. I tried it. I kind of liked it at first. The more I used it, the more I hated it. So let's discuss some Bath & Body items that I really wish I didn't purchase, especially this one because it was not inexpensive. Uh, this is from Kiehl's. A lot of people love Kiehl's. I think it's a fine brand, um, but this was just way too much money for way too gentle. This is the, well, I'm an idiot because it says gently on the thing, but even still, if you're buying a body scrub, I just expect something, like I want something from it. This is not gritty at all. I guess if you have really sensitive skin, you might like this. If you guys know of a middle of the road gentle body exfoliator, let me know in the comments because this was just, it was so gentle that literally I felt like I was rubbing lotion on my body in the shower. So it just really did not do much, and it's $28, so no. This is my favorite scent. They're discontinuing it. Someone was so wonderful to email me and let me know, like, hey, Tati, if you love falling in love, you need to order it. They are taking the scent away from the line. And I did order more um, of the perfume because I just, I love the way it smells. There's some kind of memory thing that kicks in with that scent. And I had purchased this body lotion and it just smells foul. Like it went, it smells like Elmer's glue. It's, it went bad. I lost the receipt. I'm afraid of Sephora and returning things now. So again, I'm just, I'm just, I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. I wanted to love you. Uh, so this is a regret big time. Hi, let me buy a giant bottle of lotion and not even smell it in the store to make sure that it hasn't spoiled. And then go home and throw away the receipt. Round of applause for me. When you're buying perfume, if you're able to, make sure that you like give it a good whiff in the store because sometimes these lotions have been under fluorescent lights and they've sat there for a while and they've gone bad. All right, moving on to some facial care. This is from Pure. This is a Dirty Girl Toxfine Mud Mask with Pascalite Clay. I don't know what that is, um, but I love clay masks. This was pretty affordable. I picked this up because my girlfriend really likes this brand of mineral makeup, and I just thought it seemed interesting. Um, I do like some of the makeup from the Pure Minerals line, and this was just a little too intense. Like, this is more intense than the Glam Glow. It really... I don't feel like it pulls enough out of the skin and it just makes your skin very, very dry. So as far as a mud mask, this was not a favorite. I still recommend Glam Glow. Or if you are on a super budget, the Queen Helene Julep Mask is always awesome. John Frieda. Uh, drugstore line. I love the Frizz Ease products. This is a newer item. This is called a 7 day volume in shower treatment. And you put this in and you let it sit for five minutes and it's supposed to last a few washes and make your hair um, feel thicker. But really what it did is it just made my hair feel kind of sticky and almost weighed down. So I just, I wanted to let you guys know I don't recommend this. I think using mousse or a volumizing shampoo will get you further. You know, blow drying your hair upside down, doing different things to create volume in the hair rather than coating the hair with something. Uh, because this made my hair feel so strange for a couple of days. Last little thing that I want to share with you guys. You know I love the ribbon wick candles that you can buy at Bath & Body Works. Only get the medium size that's like this, but a little bit bigger, because I have found that these smaller baby ones, they do not burn evenly, and then it's impossible for me to light this now. I'm going to have to like scrape out some of the wax to make it light. And also, I did not realize that this candle was like the loudest candle of 
the whole world. This is one of those crackling candles. Uh, this is in Sugared Amber, which is my favorite scent from the Ribbon Wick candles. It smells so good. Like I just, I keep it just so I can like smell it. It smells so cotton candy-ish and just so beautiful. But every time I light this, it scents up the room beautifully, but you hear this so distracting it makes my brain go like ah I can't focus I can't I can't write in my journal what is that noise make it stop and it's just really super super annoying do you guys know of a way to make that stop because I don't like it so that brings this video to a close I hope you enjoyed looking at all of my fail purchases give this video a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos and I hope you're having a good one I will see you next time Mwah.